Hi, you Tune Fanatics, and welcome to Tune Corner. And today we'll be talking about the rise and fall of the Silent Age of Animation. The Silent Age of Animation began way back in 1900 when J. Stuart Blackton made the Enchanted Drawing. Back then, not only the audience was amazed with seeing animation on film, but also people interacting with tunes. In 1906, Blackton made a stop-motion animated cartoon called The Humorous Faces of Funny Faces. In 1908, an animator named Emil Cole made Phantasmagory, and it is considered one of the very first examples of a traditionally animated cartoon. In the 1910s, people like Winsor McKay John Randolph Bray and William Randolph Hearst began experimenting with animation during that time and we received many different results from many different animators and animated studios. We received stuff like Crazy Cat from the Crazy Cat's comics, Mutton Jeff from the Mutton Jeff comics, we were introduced to Gritty the Dinosaur thanks to Windsor McKay, and we were introduced to a character named Colonel He is a Liar. The year 1919 became a big year in animation history. Walt Disney and Ub Iwerks first met each other at the Kansas City Film Company, and they would later form a studio called the Lafogram Studio. And two toon stars were born. There was Coco the Clown, and Felix the Cat. In the 1920s, the animation business became bigger. Cartoons were seen in movie theaters more often. And many different animation studios began to pop up, like the Fletcher Brothers Studio and then later on the Disney Studio. Felix the Cat and Copa the Clown were still toon stars at the time. Then later on, Oswald the Lucky Rabbits became a toon star as well. In the late 1920s, people were trying to put the sound in the cartoon. One of the very first people that tried to do that were the Flesher Brothers, but it didn't successfully go well. But when Walt Disney inserted its sound into a cartoon called Steamboat Willie, it was a big, massive success. People were in awe just seeing the sound and the cartoon just blending in so seamlessly. And keep in mind, this was made in the late 1920s, so you better be amazed. <laughs> and uh, basically, in other words, after the success of Steamboat Willie, the Silent Age of Animation began to die down a little bit. And in other words, Mickey Mouse ended the Silent Age of Animation. And the question of the day is... What are your thoughts on cartoons during the Silent Age of Animation? Just let me know in the comment section down below. Feel free to leave any request. And I'll see you next time in Tune Corner.